Oh, it's very soft and sweet. They just squeak. Go, little Danny, go chuck, 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 chuck. Oh, chuck, 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 chuck. I found a wild squirrel. I'm gonna use what Snow taught me earlier and see if I can get him. Chuck, 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 chuck. Chuck, 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 chuck. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. So, oh my God, Snow White taught you the real deal. Today, we are hoping to meet as many Disney princesses as we can. I think we're gonna meet Mulan, which I'm excited about. I really hope we meet Elsa and Anna because they're my favorite. Let's go. So I remember, I don't know about you guys, when I was a kid, I was about five years old, and we came to Hollywood when it was MGM at the time, and I had that character signing book. I know they still sell them, but they were like that poofy material, and you'd get all your characters signed at dinner. And I just love meeting characters, and I feel like you're never too old. If you love something, who cares what other people think? Do it. What's kind of funny though, apparently that's when my love of Star Wars started because we had a picture with Darth Vader and I had like the biggest smile <laughs> on my face. And I feel like most kids would be terrified because he's so menacing and I'm just like, <laughs> We're gonna make our way back to World Showcase because that's where all the fun characters are. And I think hit up Mulan first, she's at 11.15 and it's 10.59, so we should be good on time. Hello. Hi, Hi Mulan. Glad that we got to run into each other. <laughs> Absolutely. I was actually wondering if I could ask you a question. All right. Could you show me a move that I, if I had to defend my honor? Oh, if you had to defend your honor? Yes. Are, are you looking to defend your honor right now? Possibly. I was gonna say, I don't think you need to reflect on very much. It looks like you've got it all figured out. <laughs> all right, so we can start with a good warrior stance, all right? This okay. Like okay. Training 101, so you're gonna face me. Okay. Take a nice, good cleansing breath. Right and out. We're going to put one arm out like this, take the other knees away. This is your blade. Oh, ooh, okay. Just like that. Okay. The other hand is on the fist. Draw back like a bow and arrow. We're going to take a slight lunge like ooh, that. Okay. okay. Got it? <laughs> Oh, this is that was really did good. You, did you feel powerful? I felt all the courage oh, just like wow. surging oh, right up. <laughs> you make sure to work out the other leg too, so that you stay even. All right. Thank you. I will. Absolutely. <laughs> you know how to defend your honor now. I do. It really did make me feel. I was like a power pose. You know, like when you do the thing. Yeah. Whenever I feel threatened, I'm just gonna do that, like in the middle of the street or <laughs> at Publix. It was a super fun meet and greet. Yeah, it was. She was so nice, and she like. It's so graceful, mm -hmm. but in a powerful way. Yeah. I love that. Girl power. <laughs> We're making our way over to Germany now so we can meet the lovely Snow White. I'm so excited. Me too. I want to know how she summons all of the woodland creatures because I love animals and I want to summon some squirrels. Wait, if you learn how to do that, are you going to start bringing in all the birds and stray raccoons Definitely. and Definitely. I'm going to see if they'll clean the apartment for us. Oh, okay, that's fine. That is totally fine, especially <laughs> the kitchen. That's fine. <laughs> I want to know how she dealt dealing, how she dealt living with seven guys. Oh my God. Because so I know I would men. die. Yeah. How are you? Thank you, I love your hair. It's oh, beautiful, and your bow. Oh my, I was just gonna ask Sally you the same thing. You should put a nice red bow on I top really of should. And make it look just the same. <gasps> I will do that and come back and see you again. <laughs> then you could be the fairest of them all with me too. Yes. I was hoping you could tell me something. So yes, I know you are great at reaching out to all the creatures in the forest. Oh, yes, and course. I love animals myself. So I was wondering if you could maybe teach me a call or something to maybe attract them. Oh my, of course. Well, you know, my little chipmunk friends, all oh, they have such the cutest little chuck chuck. Have you ever had a child with chuck chuck on a chipmunk before? No. Oh, it's very soft and sweet. They just scoop a little down and go chuck 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 chuck. Oh, chuck 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 chuck. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> and then sometimes you have to go up in the high and go chuck chuck chuck. Oh. Hear anything? Not yet. <laughs> Can I try? Yes, of okay, course. Chuck 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 chuck. Mm, They're not quite. very mischievous, you know, they'd like to play hide and seek without telling you to. <laughs> so maybe you see my little chipmunk friends up the trees, give them a little chuck chuck, and I'm sure they'll come on screen and by, okay? <laughs> Will do. Thank you so much, <laughs> Snow. Of course, you have a wonderful day, me princess. Too. How did you deal with living with seven guys? Oh, well, you know, it was definitely a lot of hardships and a lot of working on their manners because they did not like to wash up. But once you know it, it gave them a lot of gooseberry pies and lots of good encouragement, too. <laughs> It goes everything goes so swimmingly. But I will say though, it does help when you have a nice gooseberry pie. Do you know how to make a nice gooseberry pie? I've never made a gooseberry oh, pie. Oh, it's very easy to do. You just take the dough and roll it on out. And then there's a nice little pie tin. And you put it right on over. And add the filling onto it too. And then tuck <laughs> it in. And then you send it in with a nice little kiss. 
And maybe little birds will come and fly and crimp all the crust around. You can call the birds. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, the little tweet tweet. Yeah. The little exactly. chuck 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 chuck. <laughs> and you put it in the oven. And then it just comes out so wonderful and nice. Perfect. Now, if they don't wash up, they don't get the pie, okay? That's the rule. <laughs> Food is the key to the heart, but you have to be clean. Yes, you have to. No dirty hands on the dinner table, okay? Thank you so much for all of the toys. Have a wonderful day, everyone. You yeah. too, Snow. I hope to see you come by the cottage soon, okay? Bye. Bye-bye now. Oh my god, that was the best meet and greet ever! <laughs> she was so cute! <laughs> Adorable! We know how to call chipmunks now, right. Falcon Squadron, yep. so we're gonna do some chipmunk calls throughout the day, I think, and see if we can attract any. It's the chuck chuck, right? Chuck 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 And tweet tweet tweet! For the birds! <laughs> And don't forget, if you want food, you better wash up. One thing to keep in mind here at Epcot is when you're meeting characters, check your My Disney Experience app because all of them do have specific times that they come out. So for instance, the next appearance is 1.50 for snow, then 3 o'clock. So it's not like some characters that are just meeting throughout the day, except for Anna and Elsa, which is where we're going next. I'm so excited. Your favorite, baby. My absolute favorite. Favorite movie, favorite characters, favorite everything. I'm so excited. Are you gonna die or are you gonna cry? I don't think I'm gonna cry because I don't, I'm not an, an excited crier, I'm just a sad crier. Uh, you're not like me who cries about everything. No, you literally cry about everything. Happy yeah. cry, sad cry, angry cry, hungry cry. All the, yeah, especially the hungry cry. I've seen that before. No, I am definitely not gonna cry, but I do know exactly what I want them to tell me. Ooh. Find out. All right, all right. Our next character meet and greet after that isn't until like 1.50, so while we're oh. over there, I say we hop on Frozen Ever After. Yes, my favorite ride. I was just on that the other day, but that ride never gets old, and that is one, again, I happy cry on because I cry about everything. I was just gonna say that I don't happy cry, but on that ride, I freaking cry. It's so good. While you're here in the Norway Pavilion, if you need to use the restroom, it is a gorgeous bathroom. <laughs> the friggin' restroom master over here knows the best bathrooms in all the parks. <laughs> it is very well themed, I just have to say. If you, if you have to take a restroom break, just trust me, go here. This is a pretty walkway over here to this house hut thingy mabob. It's the Royal Summer House. Honey. Oh, the Royal Summer House. You know, the good thing they put it in Florida. What a better place to escape during the summer. Exactly. And when it's winter, they'll have a big summer blowout. <laughs> <laughs> that was a You're good one. <laughs> the detail in here is really beautiful. So I was pointing out the plates and then this Anna and Elsa over there on the walls. So cool. How cool. How cute is that back there though, with the family photo, their little dolls on the chest. Adorable, and Anna and Elsa as like little kids is just so the cutest cute. thing I've ever seen. You look stunning today. Oh, thank you very much, you're very kind. I love your window back here, it's very beautiful. Great view of the palace too. My sister actually ended up frosting over the courtyard this morning. Yeah, so if you wanted to go ice skating or anything, you're more than welcome. That sounds wonderful. I need to cool off, it's really hot out there. Oh, then yeah, definitely go ice skating. But I would get some actual ice skates too. I can't use these? Uh, my fault. I mean, you can't use them, you should. Okay, gotcha. So like a tricky question. Yeah, can, should, very different. Yeah. So I have a question. Oh, sure. So I know Sven's a big part of your life now. Oh, yeah. Does, Definitely. what's it like living with a reindeer? Oh, it's not too bad at all. No? <laughs> Actually, he doesn't even snore as much as Kristoff does. <laughs> 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 Definitely, you know, pretty nice. Who's cleaner? Uh, Sven or Kristoff? <laughs> Just the thing about it. <laughs> I think it's best if I don't snore. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the day, really. Yeah. I mean, like, has Sven gone on the beach? Because if he goes to the beach, he rolls around in the sand, yeah. gets it all over in his fur. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't like it everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. <laughs> of course, it's everywhere, obviously. Yeah. You should, uh, you should meet this guy called Anakin. He doesn't like sand very much either. Oh my gosh, uh, yeah. I don't like sand. It's just, it does get everywhere. <laughs> Hi! I like your summer sun hat. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, th I thought I should be ready. <laughs> it is his favorite time of year, and as soon as that summer sun comes out, he's a very happy snowman. Oh, I bet, especially with his own cloud. That's... Yes, well, now he has permafrost. It's really exciting, that way he doesn't even need a cloud anymore. It's a few extra sparkly snowy things on snow, 
it makes him extra sparkly, and that he kind of lights up the whole room when he goes to the coronation party. That's so cool. He likes to dance the snowman shuffle. Can I get a permafrost? Because it's really hot out there. <laughs> well, I would give everyone permafrost, but I did promise Olaf I'd keep it nice and warm today. I understand. He is getting gorgeous to tan at the beach after all. <laughs> Maybe sometime we can plan a beach day together, though. There you go. He can That's always it. use some extra hands to build some sand castles with. His are twigs and the sand falls right through some <laughs> But he's getting better. <laughs> well, I do have to ask you something. Uh, well, first of all, I love your hair and I love your dress I and I love you and you're my much. absolute That's favorite. Of you. <laughs> so, I have a sister too. And we love each other so, 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 so much. And we have special names for each other. We call each other Bunny, Bun Bun, Honey Bun. Literally every version of Bunny you could probably think of. And I was wondering if you and Anna also have something to call each other. Well, while well, we don't have any nicknames, we do like to consider that she had the chocolate powers. I was more nice powers, but we like to say that you can put any amount of chocolate in front of her and it'll disappear in a matter of seconds. Wow, that <laughs> is <laughs> a power. Now, one more thing, could you show me how, if I had ice powers, how I would like do the motion to make it happen? Of course. Yes. Well, to build a palace, I've learned that it's easiest to start with the floors and then the walls and the ceilings. Okay. So you do your floors, Ooh, okay. and then your walls, and then your ceilings. And of course, you can always make a flurry, Ooh, especially for really? a <laughs> So of much. course, my dear. Baby. What? Is this where I get my skates? Yes! Look at this! This is cool. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. At the exit back here, you have like this a workshop area that is really beautiful. Oh this is where they make your like your your Arendellian shoes. Yeah, they have like a bridle and halters over here for your, your horse to pull you on your magical, beautiful sled that is hand carved. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is the best queue, best place in all of Disney World. I don't care. <laughs> The walkthrough experience has been really fun. And when you exit here, they have a great photo op areas in front of the wardrobe, one back here with a backdrop. It's just very, very neat, really well done. And I'm gonna go do that picture You're gonna go do right it? now. All right, let's go. <laughs> what was your favorite part about the meet and greet though? Uh, the whole thing, it was like exactly like actual Elsa. Like her voice was perfect and her hair was so pretty and I love her dress. I'm just a huge Elsa fan. She's my favorite Disney character, which is very difficult to pick. I feel like you have to ha love Anna just as much though. because I do, I pair. love Anna just as much, but like, if I have to pick one, Elsa has ice powers. Yep. I mean, you know, ice cream. But chocolate powers, babe. Oh, chocolate That's me, powers. I have chocolate powers. You already powers. have, yeah, what are you, you are Anna with the powers. <laughs> Played a chocolate gum like nom, that. Nom, nom. Oh, okay, I got it, ready? What? Chuck, 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 and then hand chocolate. Oh, Oh, there you go. The storm's coming. <laughs> Just kidding. It is really windy though. Look at my hair. <laughs> Frozen was so much fun today. We got the first row. We did. It was so cool. I really felt like I was in one of those boats because in the front row you have that like thing sticking yeah. out. Yeah. It was awesome. It was really fun. Oh my God, my hair you are. I look like a damn cockatoo. <laughs> you know what I was thinking when we were going up is, so that ride was originally Maelstrom in Norway mm -hmm. and they kept the track and everything identical, right? Uh -huh. So I find it really awesome. Imagineering had to go into this show building and figure out how to use what was already there yep. to create something brand new. So like when you're going up the track to Elsa's Ice Palace, like that's just so clever to already yeah. utilize what was there for a new ride. Yeah, because you're going to Elsa's Palace and the palace is up there and yeah. it, like, I mean, they make it look that optical illusion, like yeah. it's very far and up there. Yeah. It's very creative. Storm's coming, but we still have some meet and greets to do, so we're gonna work our way backwards. We're gonna make our way over towards Mary Poppins. Ooh, Mary Poppins! And I really hope she has her umbrella because we're gonna need it. Oh. <laughs> Hopeful. Oh, you hear that? I do. Yeah, it's about, the sky's about to crack open and drop some water. So. All right, let's get to Mary. Yeah. <laughs> We're hiding inside of the store here in the UK because it's raining and there's so many cute things that I wanted to show you all. Come look at this, babe, because I think you'll love this. But I love bags, not purses, but like satchels and bags. I'm not a big purse girl, but look at this thing. Oh, how gorgeous. I love that. It's a leather in the colors. Is this a, it's supposed to be like the flag? Yes, kind that's of? the yeah, British flag. I want it. You're making me want to spend money. I don't even know how much it is. 
two hundred dollars. Really, that's not that bad. It's expensive. It's Don't expensive. get me wrong. <laughs> but for a nice leather bag, it's I that would is, say reasonable. It's very cute. Also, very, very cute. I thought this was cute. Oh, that is cute. Yeah. And then I'm sad about this T-shirt because I like it a lot. How adorable are Mickey and Minnie on there? Oh. They're so, oh, look at them in the phone I know, in the They're phone talking booth. to each other. I really, <laughs> I really wish they had it in an extra small though. It's too oh. big. Oh my God, and they have a matching hat. Oh my God. Okay, that's extra. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Hello, yeah. mate. Hello, mate, for the spirit jersey. The front's really cute of it too. Oh, that is cute. Let's look around some more though. There's some really oh cute stuff in here. So look at this little British Mickey. Oh my goodness, he's so dapper. I love that t-shirt. I need it in an extra large place. They probably have it back there. You could you could fit in one. I really like this um, lounge oh, fly right here. Oh, this is so cute. Isn't it? And I'm not a big lounge fly, but that is one I would definitely purchase. Oh, I love it. What did you find? I found some tea so I could have my afternoon tea afternoon in it. Afternoon tea? That's a really cute cup and uh, saucer. Isn't it? Did you bring your quarters for the phone booth? No, I didn't know I was gonna have to make phone calls to find out where everybody, where Mary Poppins is today. Is this, I feel like this is where you go when you need to like call a hidden. Like, are you, are you secretly meeting? Are you James Bond? Well, you never know. I can't hear you. That's okay. They you can hear you. Honey. You don't need to hear this conversation. I will find you and I will kill you. I can never get enough of these pavilions. We don't walk through them enough, but when we do, the theming is just too good. I've never been to London, you have. Do you feel like you're actually there? Is it I mean, similar? I mean, as far as the facades and everything go. It's, there's definitely a huge familiarity. It really does you know, transport you a little bit, but I think that anyone who has been there or is especially from there is gonna be like, well, you of know. course, but no. it does have like a strong British feel. So that's a very cool, especially like the architecture. It just looks really, it just looks right. And like the chimneys, it's perfect. It's exactly what they look like. Those are really cool. <laughs> and here's the garden. So it's pretty. really pretty. It's I Mickey. never noticed. Look at the shrubbery in the middle. I know. Mickey over here. It looks like there's uh, lights in it, so at night they light up. And look at this cute little elephant. It's not so cute if you forget The Shining. Oh, did you notice that each door is different color? Have red, blue, and oh, green. Oh, no, I didn't. I like that though. I have always been a fan of, and I always say when we have a house, I want like a red, a door, red door or blue, yellow, something, an accent. Because I think it's the coolest yeah. thing on the front of a house to have just <laughs> a different colored door. I don't know why. Hey, babe. Yeah. Guess who made it out? Alice, Alice made it out. <laughs> and what a cute meeting spot. She meets right oh, here in this hut and garden area, right when you're walking past in the UK. Hi. Hi. I'm doing very well, thank you. I just copied you. It's from the Queen. Oh, look at that. Queen of Hearts, you must be sure to curtsy and say, yes, your majesty. Yes, your majesty. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, I don't want that's her to take my head. Oh, I'm afraid she can lose her temper if you don't keep your man as you know. <laughs> Now, I was kind of hoping I could ask you a question oh, yes, today. Of so, I want to go to Wonderland one day. Oh, yes. But I'm really scared because it looks kind of scary. Oh, so, I was hoping you could tell me what is like the one thing I should watch out for. Well, when you're in Wonderland, I suppose the very best advice I can give you is to not get lost, of course. Yes, you see, all you have to do is to find the moam rats. If you pay attention to the moon rats, they will directly direct you in the right direction. Oh, perfect. Directly direct direct in the right direction. <laughs> it's perfect, yeah. It was great. She had such a good voice. Uh -huh. She had the accent perfect and just like the tone of her voice was just very alice -y. That's the one thing that amazes me about meet and greets. Like, they're such good actors. Mm -hmm. They are. And I love how if you're not like talkative at all, if you're not a conversation starter, like you don't have to. She will just... She will keep it going and all you have to do is nod and smile if that's your comfort level. Yeah. Or if you do want to ask questions like me, I always like asking questions. They are so prepared to answer anything. We have now seen four characters, five characters? Five now. Five characters. We're on to number six, which is going to be Mary Poppins. So we're right next to Rose and Crown and she just comes and meets out here by um, the lake. So I'm really excited. 
I hope she can give me a good answer to my question <laughs> because I need some professional help from Mary Poppins. You want to tell everybody your question? No, it's a surprise. Oh, okay. You, you got to figure it out. <laughs> Hopefully this will help you all though because everybody has this problem, I think. It's not just me. I found a wild squirrel. I'm going to use what Snow taught me earlier and see if I can get him. Oh, 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 I think it's working. <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> Maybe it works for chipmunks and squirrels. <laughs> chuck, 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 oh, chuck. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's so, oh my god, Snow White taught you the real deal. <laughs> I'm dying right now. <laughs> I wish I had some food for it. Was that the happiest I moment of your life? It was. Snow White, go visit Snow White. She has like the skills over there, you all. We are indeed. How did you make it in? Did you have to wait for the storm? Oh, well, the wind sent me over here. Okay, that's perfect. Yes, but now it's perfect weather for a walk in the park. It is indeed. It's very beautiful out. Yes, if there was only you could describe how wonderful this weather is. I think it's practically splendid. I love that word. Yes, it's the perfect word to say when you can't think of anything to say at all. And you can say it backwards, which is douche sell the expiistic bragicality. Wow. But that's wow. going quite a bit too far. That's yeah, I think so. That's a, that's a hard one. I did have a quick question. So do you have any suggestions? I know you're really great with like discipline and chores and stuff, right? So I hate cleaning the bathroom. What's a way we can make that fine? When it comes to tidying up your bathroom or the nursery, of course, you do have to make it a good one. Okay. You know, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. If find your fun and snap, the job's a game. Okay. So I hope that helps. Thank you, it does. <laughs> All right, see, I told you guys I would ask a good question. Who else hates cleaning the bathroom? That is definitely me. So we have to find a game and then snap our fingers. So this is the game I think we do. We all go to Walmart and buy water guns, like the big pump ones, and that's how you clean your shower. What do you think? That's a good one, right? I think that's very effective. So water, maybe some vinegar in there, and just, that's the pump action gun right there. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> Our next meet and greet isn't for an hour, three o'clock, so we're gonna head to France and get on Ratatouille. Ooh, Ratatouille. Remy's Ratatouille adventure. I'm excited. I am too. We've only ridden it once, twice. Twice since we've been here. We were walking by and just noticed Belle is still out meeting, so we're gonna hop in line now and try to snag a meet and greet with the Belle. The line's not too bad. Are you enjoying your adventures in the Great Wide somewhere today? We are! I was really hoping that we would run into you today. I'm so glad that you found me! Well, I have a question for you. That's why I was hoping I would meet you. I know that you love reading. Certainly. You're the best, the, the best well-read person in all of town, I'm sure. Um, and I love reading too, and I have a favorite co quote, and I was wondering if you could tell me your favorite quote. To pick just one. Just one. You can. You have time. I'll tell you mine first. Oh, please do. Mine is happiness can be found even in the darkness of times if only one re one remembers to turn on the light. Goodness, that's a beautiful quote. Thank you. Can you tell me what book that's from? It's from one of the Harry Potter books. Have you read those? I haven't yet. You should. They're really good. Thank you for the recommendation. <laughs> do you think Chip would like those stories too? Oh, I'm sure he would. Yeah. You just have to read them to him. <laughs> well, I'll be certain to check my library to make sure I have a copy of that. Perfect. <laughs> my favorite quote. It's found in quite a few stories, but I think you'll like it. Okay. And they all live happily ever after. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's the best way to end a story, don't you It think? really is. It's so cute. Thank Should we take much. a portrait together? I think it's a lovely idea. Thank you so much. Thank it was so friend. great to meet you. And you as well. We made it to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and we're gonna hop on, so we will catch you after. See you in a sec. Okay, so I'm starving because we didn't get lunch and it's super hot. And I saw crepes because we were getting out of Ratatouille and I'm like, food, now, let's do it. Um, so I got the sugar and butter one. They also had a red berries. They had a hazelnut and chocolate spread, and they had it where you can get it filled with um, vanilla or chocolate ice cream, which sounded really good, but I ended up opting for this. So let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna eat the tip. Good, mm -hmm. yummy. Mm -hmm. Is it like a pancake? 
I'm so you... glad I'm choking. It's like a really flat pancake that doesn't really taste like a pancake. But it's so good. Like the texture of crepes is really good. I've had many different kinds of crepes, like at different places. This one's actually pretty good. It so yeah, delicious. it's not bad. It has some sugar right on top. I recommend. We have made it to the beautiful Morocco, my favorite pavilion here, because it is gorgeous. And we're finding Jasmine, who's gonna be our last character for the day. Where do we find her? We are supposed to go straight back and she's gonna be in the Lamps of Wonder. Ooh. Do you think Jeannie's inside the Lamp of Wonder? We'll have to find out, you can just rub it. The Lamps of Wonder is this we found way, it. apparently. Oh, it's here, it's here. Oh, we're passing the Lamps of Wonder. <laughs> I found the Lamps of Wonder. You did indeed, lots of lamps. Many of lamps, let's see which one works. Nope, nope. Ooh, this one, this one rattles a little bit. <laughs> if you had a genie and could have three wishes, what would your first wish be? Oh no. Just the first one. Okay, the first wish, I wanna have the wedding of my dreams. That is oh. wish number one. Here at Disney, in front of the castle? Yeah, at the Fireworks? Night. Yes. I like that one. All of the above. If you all had a genie and had wishes, what would they be? Let us know in the comments. I have a question for you. Agrabah seems like a very beautiful place. Is there a favorite tradition you have of Agrabah? Yes. Okay, so right now we have a little bit of a tradition, but really just because Abu started this, we've been doing a lot of magic carpet racing. Okay. So before we were doing camel and elephant racing uh -huh. too. We like to do it across the dunes. Yeah. Sometimes during the winter part of Agrabah, which doesn't really happen, we'll do sledding across the dunes mm -hmm. too. But now that we have magic carpets, it's the best way to race. That sounds so, wonderful. Course, is there a time of season I should visit for that? Any time is Any time. But I can send you a carpet so then you can go straight over. Perfect. Thank you so much. Now we can find you the best carpet around. <laughs> I can just get one with more than four tassels. Okay. Because you have to remember to rotate your tassels every six months. Uh, I don't wow. Know you know no, I did not. Right. But if you have more tassels, then you have more options to rotate into rather than just gotcha. the four. Maybe I should try adding a couple tires onto my car Ooh. and see if that works. Okay. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> that way if something happens to one, then it would just take yep. over it. <laughs> yep, we're good to go. I am so excited to go to Agrabah for some magic carpet racing. Just be careful, honey. Be on careful. the sand dunes with six tassels. I'm really going to try adding two more wheels onto my car. What do you guys think? I think just putting that dangerous ideas in your head is what I think. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today, check out our other vlog. We were just at Magic Kingdom where we left the entire day up to chance with some chance cubes. Which was, uh, it was fun. It was a blast. We'll see you guys there.